Hello guys, I'm sorry I have a lisp today because I got repairs my tongue piercing and I didn't prepare anything so I'm going to read something that I found on the internet uh, actually on Tumblr it's called uh, well, it's about depression and the source is She Runs From Darkness you can easily find it on Google or Tumblr or whatever so I'm going to read it and if you suffer from depression you're gonna feel like that's your life and if, if you want someone to understand what depression is you should, you should pass this on to that person so I, I will leave a link down so you can read it by yourself so here it goes depression is humiliating it turns intelligent kind people into, into zombies who can't wash a dish or change their socks it affects the ability to, to think clearly, to feel anything, to ascribe value to your children, your lifelong passions, your relative good fortune. Um, it scoops out your normal healthy ability to cope with bad days and bad news and replaces it with an unrecognizable sludge that finds no pleasure, no delight, no point in anything outside of that. You alienate your friends because you can't comport yourself socially. You risk your job because you cannot concentrate. You live in moderate squalor because you have no energy to stand up, let alone take, take out the garbage. You become pathetic and you know it. And you have no capacity to stop the, that downward spiral. You have no perspective, no emotional reserves, no faith that it will get better. So you feel guilty and ashamed of your own inability to deal with life like a regular human which exacerbates the depression and the isolation if you've ever been depressed thank you if you've never been depressed sorry thank your lucky stars and back of the folks who take a pill so they can make eye contact with the grocery store cashier no one on earth would choose the nightmare of depression over an averagely turbulent normal life it is not an incapacity to cope with day-to-day -day living in the modern world. It's an incapacity to function at all. If you or your loved ones have been spared, every blessing to you. If depression has taken root in you or your loved ones, every blessing to you. No one chooses it. No one deserves it. It turns in families. It runs in families. It ru ruins families. You cannot imagine what it takes to, to feign normalcy, to show up to work, to make to attend this appointment, to pay bills, to walk your dogs, to return to library books on time, to keep enough toilet paper on hand when you are accepting most, most of your capacity on trying to kill yourself or to not kill yourself. Depression is real. Just because you've never had it doesn't make it imaginary. Compassion is also real and a depressed person may cling desperately to it until they are out of the woods and they may remember your, com your compassion for the rest for the of their lives as a force, force greater than their depression. Have a heart, don't just crucify people for having an illness. And I'm reading this and now I'm feeling much better but um, I have been there. Now I'm taking a very good medication who keeps me out of the darkness. But I've been there. I've been there for years. And I know how horrible it is to be unable to get out of bed. Um, I don't know. Everything. Everything seems impossible to do. So, you know, if you're suffering from depression, you can contact me and you know, we can talk and I can give you some kind of advice even though I'm, I'm not a great fan of being positive and all that stuff because when you are really depressed it doesn't work. Well, I hope you've liked it or at least find it interesting and I'll see you later.